Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the Cornerstone SMP. Uh, for those of you who are new on the channel, this is Bodhi. And first off, I just wanted to say that this is a brand new SMP that I formed uh, going around finding people on YouTube who seemed like really talented and fun Minecraft players. So I'm going to go ahead and go around and let everyone introduce themselves, talk a little bit about their channel before we get things started here. Um, Lemon Slice, you can just call me Lemon for, for short. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. And so, yeah. Here goes uh, the start of Cornerstone SMP. So everybody get ready, set, go. Cool. That is right, guys. Welcome to the Cornerstone SMP, my brand new series. I'm going to be playing on this server with a bunch of other creators, and I am super excited. This is a Hermitcraft style server, and this is going to be super awesome for all of us. And this is such a nice start. I've been looking for an SMP to play on for a while now, and I finally found this one that I was invited to, and I am super excited to be on here playing, letting my creative juices flow again, fresh start, and as you probably saw, this is my little camp that I've set up for the time being. It is pretty much nothing. I'll show you what I have, because we did have that little meeting that you saw in the beginning, and they all kind of ran off to our spots that we had previously selected from the map, and this is where I am about about... Um, well, I'm at 576, negative 850, so I'm not actually that far, spawn is that way, and I actually don't remember where the shopping district is, I'm gonna, we're gonna go there later, so I'll figure it out, but I did find some desert temples along the way, there's a village not that far that way, so not a big deal, um, yeah, we are actually looking good, this is where I'm gonna be setting up camp, and I wanna talk to you guys real quick about the plan for what we're gonna be building here because obviously I'm huge into building. So yeah, I'm very excited about this area. So I've never really built in a desert before, so it's something I wanted to try. And in this desert slash savanna area here, this is gonna be really fun. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you too much because I want it to be, you know, surprising too, but we are gonna go with kind of an ancient Greek vibe here, you know, pillars and whatnot. But I don't wanna spoil too much because we are not getting into that quite yet. We are just getting set up on this server and I want to just check some things out so let's go over here real quick yeah and there's a few people on maybe we'll meet up with someone later we'll see um but i do want to head to the shopping district i want to look around there's some people that already went into the nether i don't have i have some obsidian i have some diamonds um i guess we should make a diamond pick first off we should probably do something like that and i mean this is a big deal there it is first diamond pick for me um i know some people are ahead a little bit because i've been super super busy with schoolwork and whatnot but guys i'm super happy to be on here and i'm going to be grinding this so let's get into doing something well folks this is uh this is going okay we've been going for a little bit constructing a little bit of a humble abode for us to live in and if i take you around here it's kind of hidden because i have a lot of plans out here for big structures and stuff so i didn't want to make my little area too big but if i come down this little slanted area you see we got a little humble entrance here a little dark area because it's hold on let me just sleep real quick because it's so you know dark outside i don't have any torches or anything i haven't really gone mining that much and the coal i did have i accidentally uh used for ridiculous reasons uh that i will not talk about <clears throat> but this is it so far we just hop in here it's gonna be brighter there's gonna be a door we're gonna go down here we're gonna have a little cave some structures in here and stuff some wood supports and it's gonna be nice this is a nice little area we have set up here probably gonna have to expand more at a different time but yeah i'm just gonna keep grinding away just a little bit longer all right all right yes yes i still have no coal so i'm just gonna show you this in the dark i just went mining and literally found no coal um whatever i mean my pickaxe broke and i'm almost out of wood so whatever but this is my little storage system i know it, it is just dark in here but then we got wood sandstone the goodies you know stuff this is good. We're, we have a little setup, a little furnace array, and obviously this can be expanded a lot. This is just the base here so far, what we've got, and I'm really excited about this. Now, I do want to check out the rest of the server. I want to show you guys the spawn. There's not really much there, actually, but I also want to head to the villagers, maybe get some villager trades going. I want to check out the shopping district, see what's going on. Um, and I just want to show you guys around a little bit, maybe even explore into that. 
So I'm going to get some stuff ready and we're going to figure out where we're going to head first. So on our way towards spawn and shopping district, this is our journey's first stop here at the village. Not too far from our base. It's right over there. But here's the village. Got a cool design going on here. Hey, buddy, what's up? Hey, buddy, what's up? Oh, there's a cat. Nice. Oh, there's multiple cats. Okay. Hey, buddy, what you got? Bay oh, oh. I'm just going to take that from you so you don't ever make that mistake again. Let's get let's get all this stuff. I want the books. I want the pots because, honestly, guys, pots are kind of annoying to make. There's a lot of houses here. I don't know if I'm going to hit every single one of them. You are, okay, yeah, no interest in you, buddy. Um, I'm just going to kind of run around here and see what we got. But, yeah, this is our little village. I don't want to raid it too hard. Bread is pretty much my main source of food right now because it's all i can find is these hay bales at these villages and i'm okay with that right now because in the desert guys there's not uh not much source of meat so i'm not gonna be able to really do anything besides this for a while so that's okay but i'm just gonna continue doing this for just a few more minutes all right and entering the temple let's just take some precaution here perfect and let's get all this stuff out gotta take the tnt um let's do this all right let's see what we got diamonds beautiful more diamonds can never have too many diamonds take some gunpowder another oh two more saddles i already have two okay that's quite a bit of oh i forgot the emerald that's quite a bit of saddles and oh okay a third saddle i think i'm gonna leave it i don't i really don't need that many saddles uh i'm gonna drop that stuff off there and then i'm just gonna actually block up out of here because i didn't feel like digging a staircase you cannot make this up. There's another village. That right there, I don't know if you can see, is the sand temple. And the village is just over there. And there's another one. Right here. And I haven't been in this one either. I, I don't know. Oh. Somebody has. I do not recognize this village. I was at one. At the very beginning of the server. And this is not it. This is a different one. And what do we got? More bread. Perfect. And books. I can take the wheat. I have, I have plenty of wheat. Oh. Oh, an iron pickaxe. That's actually pretty good. Our oaks, uh, no, they're not that valuable to me. Oh, my first iron pick. Isn't that wonderful, guys? Let me get these furnaces too and pray that there's not a chance I fall in this lava. Okay. Um, I'm not going to raid this whole place. There's no way. Oh, God. I'm going to end up raiding this whole place. I was able to control myself at the village, but it seems like I've made it to spawn. This is spawn. So there's basically nothing here like usual. Oh, okay. So this portal right here says spawn, but obviously, oh, I should not have broke that. There's, there it is. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, re I'll replace it. Don't worry. I will, I will fix this massive problem that I've just created. Um, before we started, there was a situation and somebody had started and Got weapons and stuff, so we had to throw it in this hole and we put a flower on it to commemorate it. And I will switch that flower for a much better looking corn flower. So that's that's okay. And besides the fact, whatever. Moving on. This is the nether hub entrance, I guess, from spawn. So I guess this is gonna be easier than trying to go all the way to the shopping district. West about five hundred blocks. Um, it looks like someone is already developing a nether hub. It is looking good in here. Forgot about the 1.16 nether. I gotta love it. This is... Okay, this is Alex's base. Alright, this is looking very nice. And this is... Wow, okay. I am slightly behind. I don't want to snoop too much. I mean... I mean, this is impressive. This is nice. This is a nice little build. I have not been playing as much as these people. And I now realize that I need to catch up majorly. That's okay. All right, so Free Stamps has come along to save us. He has, he's gonna show us exactly where the the portal is. I um, I guess I was heading completely the wrong way. Maybe I, I he saw me when I was climbing up a little hill over there, and uh, I must have looked stupid because I have not been here yet. I don't even have a Nether portal set up. These guys are going crazy. These guys have really been been playing a lot. This server, believe it or not, guys, as I'm recording this, has only been open for about 24 hours i think and i am in shock people have done this much thank you thank you this is oh this is it yes 
Oh, yes. Here we go. People have torches. That's nice to see. I don't. Yes. Thank you. That is very... Is that a... Oh, my gosh. I thought that was a diamond sword. I was... I was gonna freak out. And here we are. Okay. At the shopping district. What is that? Oh, some stuff. Oh, my gosh. Some stuff going on already. Oh, what have we got here? Stocking inventory. Come back soon. Oh, okay. Okay. This looks like it's gonna be... Oh my gosh, how have people had time for this kind of stuff already? Uh, okay, under construction. Okay, Hicks is making a base or a shop here of some kind. Oh my goodness. He, he, he has like a, a village. Here he has his villagers and villagers everywhere and, and cows and sheep and he's already constructed a, a building. Wow, guys, I, I, I mean, I, I don't believe how far behind I am. I mean, not super far behind, but these people have put up so much infrastructure. I definitely want to get hooked up to the nether, link up to the hub, and um, set up more of my base today. That's definitely a priority, and um, apparently coal is also a priority because I have, like, none. Well, I went out for a little bit of a mining trip, and lucky me, look at the- Oh, oh God. Look at this not even a couple hundred blocks from my base and we have a lava pool this is perfect because now we can get obsidian this is what i've wanted just want to link up my nether portal after seeing everybody's was linked up and also seeing how far i had to travel to get to the shopping district and spawn and everything all right all right we are all set up here let me just find in here here we go Whew. here we go this is the portal should probably say this is the portal right here this is our setup um yeah we're a little crammed right now this is just a temporary home it's okay but there we go so uh, this is nice slide in through here and i should be able to calculate calculate where oh this no way this is happening already wonderful now we are connected to the shopping district the hub and everybody else I probably need to now leave signs back at the base. Added some plant life out here. I fixed it up a little bit. I mean, this is not by any means a very crazy looking base and it's not anything special, but you know, it, it's gonna get us through the beginning of the game where we need to collect some resources and stuff and start the town center, actually, is where we're starting. And it's gonna be going right about here, actually. Or a little farther that way, I think. We're going to flatten some of this. It doesn't matter. We don't have any tools to be doing anything like that at this moment. So we need to work on that next. I think I want to just get some... Oh, God, that was a big jump. Some tools going. I also... I really want to put this sign on my thing. I'll, I'll do it off camera. But I think right now, guys, I'm going to get some mining going. Maybe I'll set up a mine in here. And I'm going to get some gear. There they are, guys. Our first diamonds. Oh, here we go. I've been using my flint and steel as a torch because I don't want to waste any of my precious coal, but here they are, our first diamonds, and I'm I'm debating leaving them for another time because I want to get fortune. This is what I did. It's what I usually do in my world. I have a diamond pickaxe already, so I think it's worth just waiting to get these depending on how many it is. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to bring a villager back. Hicks, um... His base with all the villagers has inspired me to definitely um, get villagers, get working with villagers because they are very overpowered as everybody knows. And I made it here and we actually have a silk touch villager, which is actually pretty good too. I don't know what to do here in this kind of situation. I need silk touch. I need silk touch pretty bad and he's going to be a valuable villager to have. So I think we're going to have to, I think we're going to have to trap this guy we can let's do it real quick no oh, no 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 there we go beautiful okay oh my gosh guys mending okay okay you sir also need to be preserved let's actually let's try and do that and just get up yes wow we have mending now okay that is absolutely massive guys here we go 20 wheat for an emerald kind of expensive but it doesn't matter it gets us emeralds. That's all I need because now we can get something. I think 
Oh, I think I want to do Silk Touch, but should I do Fortune before Silk Touch? It's hard to say. And I honestly think it might be worth rotating villagers just to get Silk Touch. I, I, I mean, to get Fortune. I think it would be in our best interest to do something like that. All right. And like two trades later, we got it. So let's grab the Fortune right there. And I just realized something, guys. If I didn't trade with this Silk Touch guy. Oh, he is locked in still. So thank you. Thank you, good sir, for your for your kind contribution to my um oh gosh. Hey buddy, just top on in there. Okay, there you go. That's much better. I'm heading over to Hicks place real quick because he is letting me use his anvil because I uh don't think I have oh I can't check really right now, but I don't think I have enough iron for an anvil and I would just want to put this book on, so he said I could use it real quick to toss one book on oh someone got hurt a hicks place once again oh my gosh so many villagers thank you again all right let's pop this on here we go fortune three awesome that is gonna be super helpful wow here's an enchant table too wow awesome that is really cool one two three four five okay six beautiful Good vein. Okay, we got a double. All right, all right, another double. Okay, going again, another double. Three doubles in a row, and four doubles in a row. Five doubles in a row. Six doubles. Six doubles, we perfectly doubled our diamonds. And oh, I'm gonna snag a little bit of iron if I can. I don't, I don't really wanna go over this way. I think I wanna set up an enchanting table now. I guess I can go a little farther. I mean, where does this go? This. This could lead somewhere interesting, actually. Oh my gosh. I am so glad that I kept going. I could have, I literally was about to walk right past these. Okay. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh. Okay, that was a quad. Okay, okay. Two quads? Okay, keep them coming. Oh. Oh, and a single. Oh my gosh. We have so many diamonds now. We are rich. And here we go, guys. I just set up this nice area, this little hallway down here, where I'm going to be putting all sorts of stuff, I guess. I, I decided to make it into a nice hallway. So I did a little bit of decoration. We got some lanterns going out here, finally. Uh, actually, out here, we do not have a lantern, so I take that back entirely. I don't know about this. Don't know about it. Something's not vibing, but now, now something's not vibing there either. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out on my own time, but guys... This is what we're going to finish the episode with. I finished a little enchanting room over here. Well, almost finished. I ran out of wood, but there we go. We have enchants ready to be made. First thing I want to get fully upgraded is tools. Um, I don't really care too much about armor, but tools definitely need to be upgraded first, I think. And guys, this is good progress for the first episode. I'm really happy with what we've done here. And I'm very proud and I'm glad that you guys are watching. If you still are. Leave a like, let me know in the comments. If you're still watching right now, let me know. You will be rewarded. But guys, thank you so much for enjoying and watching the video and welcome to my brand new series we're gonna be doing here on the Cornerstone SMP. Oh, and the rain comes in just as the outro is going. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Also go check out all the other people playing on this server. Uh, there's a few guys on right now, not too many because it is late. I have to stay up late to work on this because I'm a busy man right now. But let me get away from this rain real quick. I will see you guys in the next episode that will be coming out very shortly. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Peace out.